In this video, I'm showing you how to install an O'Hagan vent for your S-shaped tile roof to match the profile of the roof and properly vent your roof space. This vent is manufactured by O'Hagan. There are a few different manufacturers to it and more or less they're roughly the same thing. The idea behind these vents is matches the profile of the S tile itself. Now this is pretty universal, most S tiles it'll work on, but just make sure that you try it out before you actually install it. Uh, we like the ones from O'Hagan's. They have a few nice features. Number one thing is that they have a great screen for birds and bugs, as well as a base flashing. So that's what the purpose of these are. One thing I highly recommend is prior to installing these, paint them on the ground. You wanna etch these with vinegar, prime it, paint it, because once you have this installed, it's pretty difficult to get a nice clean paint job on it. So if possible, paint it prior to installing. Now, you've got our first row installed, depending on where you wanna install it, we're gonna wanna install it right here. Here's the, here's the plan. You wanna install your base flashing first. Now to install your base flashing, it's pretty simple, similar to O'Hagan's or, um, or any other vents, door, dormers. This base flashing gets nailed down. Then you wanna paper this in. So we're just gonna assume that this is in place. And also don't mind this larger cut. This is for a dormer opening. We're not gonna really cut this open right now. But generally, if we were to install this on a real roof, we will be cutting this open to ensure that we have full venting area. One thing I wanna show you is on the back side here. First off, this is what areas actually vent. So you wanna make sure that these areas line up with where your openings are cut, more or less. Doesn't need to be perfectly aligned. Just cut a larger opening so that you'll have a lot of airflow in and out. Next thing is you do not wanna forget. These little tabs here need to be bent back. And what these are gonna do is they're gonna help grab onto the tile underneath. It's gonna slide in right here. And that's gonna prevent this O'Hagan vent from lifting up. So we've got one right here. You wanna make sure it goes underneath. This one has not been inserted properly. You can see how easily it lifts up. This one has. You can see as I'm lifting this up, it's actually lifting this bottom tile up. So that's what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna give this another shot. There you have it, that's properly installed right here. But another thing you can do, which a lot of times we do, especially in higher wind areas, is we install some adhesive caulking underneath here to bond the metal to the tile. However, your primary focus should be on getting those tabs properly bent up and nice and snug. The height of the O'Hagan, generally I wanna say, is the same line you're gonna be using as your tile. So we've got our chalk line marked out right here, and that's the same line that we're gonna be using. And then we can just place two nails right here. Your O'Hagan is pretty much installed. Now you just have to weave in the rest of your tiles. So you can see how this tile and the vent right here have interlocked. So it really is locked together. Let me show you again how. So that's gonna slip into that groove right there. It's gonna take a little bit of finessing. There you go. You can see here how these O'Hagan vents have an indentation. And this is the area where you wanna have your the third row of tiles or the row above this sit. So depending on the tile you're using, that measurement might, might shift a little bit. For us and the overlap that we've chosen is lining up great. So we're gonna use the same line, install our final row and be done with the project. So there you have it. You can see it's not anything extremely complicated. It's just a few things that you have to keep in mind to ensure that these O'Hagans don't lift up. And like I said, make sure you paint it prior to installing it. It'll just make for a lot easier of a job as opposed to taping this off and trying to spray paint it while it's on the roof. Like anytime when painting metal, I always recommend etching it with vinegar prior, priming and painting it. And really that's it. You'll have this vent. You can see how it blends in very nice, especially when compared to a dormer. I think an O'Hagan does a lot better of a job just blending in and looking a lot nicer.
Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other techniques that I might have skipped over, let me know. I would love to hear from you in the comments below.